Hey, I want to talk about WordPress media settings. What I mean is when you go to WordPress settings and then you go to media down here, I like to set all of these sizes to be zero and untick these boxes. Why do I do that? Every time you load an image into your media library, when you scale and crop it, that's a different matter, okay? What you do there is up to you. But when you load an image in, WordPress in the back end might make five copies. It will generate a copy for thumbnail, medium, large, extra large, and some other sizes. But you're generally looking at uh, the original size and five more. Now, if you're being very prescriptive over how your images look on your website, you don't need these extra sizes. Even when you add an image as a background image or whatever like that, you're probably going to have it at full resolution almost as has how you loaded it. And when you have an image on the screen, you're probably resized or cropped or set the sizes anyway. You don't need five duplicates. And if you're very protective over your file space, it can grow if you're not careful. We know someone who had a directory website. Their WordPress website was 1.4 gigabytes. That is huge, okay, for what they had on their website. And the reason was due to lots of images. Now then, even though I've just told you, set this to zero and untick this and hit save settings. There is a chance that WordPress will still be creating duplicate sizes because all you've done is stop the thumbnail, the medium and the large. What about the extra large? What about the medium stroke large and stuff like that? Well, to get around that, you need to add a code snippet. There's many ways you can do it. My favorite is to use the code snippets plugin. It's completely free. Go and install it. It protects you from a code going wrong as well. It is really, really that damn good. By the way, we are now on version 6.1 for WordPress. There's a warning here to say this has not been tested. You can totally ignore that because it works absolutely fine. So once you've installed that, down here, you'll see the word snippets in your WordPress. When you go over, you can then click add new. And then what you'll do is you will drop in this code and there will be a link in the YouTube description where you can go and get that code. Here's basically what the code is. This is called remove image sizes. And what you do is you drop this code in. You don't change it, you just drop it in as it is. And if there's any here that you do wanna keep, fine. Remove the line from out of here or comment it out. But I am just gonna pop that in. And then what you do is you save the changes and then you'll have a button here that says activate. You click activate. If there was a problem with your code, you'll get an error message and it allows you to roll back instantly so your website is completely protected. So I've just uploaded a brand new image to my media library. It's coming through absolutely fine. I can crop scale it, even set the minimum maximum widths or anything like that. But what I'm trying to get across is doing this is really damn important. You've got to do this. But I now also respect having this code snippet in as well to ensure you don't have three additional copies of your image still being generated in your back end. You're not using them, you know, if you're very prescriptive of how you build. So I would definitely add that into your WordPress website. I'm Imran, Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.